we are super very busy with that community. So that community, Education for Climate, is on open social, as you can imagine. I have 10 minutes, right? Yes. What you see on screen is absolutely different of what you could have seen six months ago. So we spent, um, before knowing open social, we got, we got the request, right? I make, it, I make it very short. We have a request, building something interactive around education for climate. The goal of this is to raise awareness, to train teachers, to bridge science with education and the like. That's the overall goal, which is fine. The requester is the DG in charge of education. Education in Europe is something that is in the control of each different state, right? So that's, that's, that's our context, right? We uh, um, promote the idea of building a community starting from zero. We don't know who are the schools because there is no list of schools of all schools of Europe. We don't know who are the influencers in the field. We know some of them, but not from all countries. So you need to start from zero. There is no community existing, right? So um, the first eight months, if I could recall, we uh, search and, find, and found 800 people coming from all uh, European uh, states and um, from all different um, layers of education, university, preschool. So we had talks with uh, pupils, university teachers, students, all stakeholders management. We talked with 800 people. Large, long, very long design phase, right? Inspired by the playbook that I just showed, right? That design phase was basically uh, this. We started by, okay, we need to first to show and tell. Based on some case studies, we need to meet teachers, students, all other stakeholder, uh, involved stakeholders. Based on this, we will do what we call a design synthesis of what we learn from what they say, of the problem they want to solve, of the interest they have, on the practice they would like to uh, share with others and the like. Based on this, we, we, we mixed and we did other workshops, mixing teachers and students, uh, stakeholders with teachers, and so on and so on. And we came to a prototype, a modeling of everything that they said was important for them and the reason why they would like to build and, the, and to co-create the community. So it was super exciting, right? And then based on this, that prototype, we, we did some validation with them. We showed them back. Guys, this is the prototype we have. And all these people, they were super engaged, right? Um, and they said, yeah, clap, clap, we're very good. Well, maybe we wanted to hear this, right? Also. And then we had a design document. And then somewhere in the middle here came, came Carlo with ah, open social look, right? It came like this. And then we built that. Um, that, that uh, first dashboard and the menu. Wow, we have a great idea because we had a nice communication um, page saying, yeah, it's all about connect, unlock problem, develop, develop solution, and so on. We had a nice communication place and we thought that will be nice. We will put that in the menu. So our first menu on uh, Open Social was unlock, develop. And I remember when Jamila came and she said, guys. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand the shit of this. <laughs> and, 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 and I was pissed off. It was, it was, it was, frankly, we, we spent one year to build all this. And, 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 and when we asked the members, they were telling us, that's great. And I said, you see, Jamila, they, 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 were, they, they find it great. Yeah, it was a mistake because the one who was thinking it's great, they were with us from the beginning. They knew what we wanted to say with unlock, develop, and the like. So we started to redo a feedback loop with a lot of different citizens, and because meanwhile it was launched, and meanwhile we had a lot of students and, student and teachers and the like, and we asked them, what is difficult? We don't understand the shit about that menu. Oh, shit, that's, that's right. Um, why? Yeah, because it's too complex. Yeah, but it's clear, we had a lot of, and yeah, but it's explained, but no one reads. Right? You can read everything that you almost, and when I say no one, it's not correct. My citizen colleagues, uh, my uh, science colleague would say you can't say no one. Indeed, not no one, but few people are reading what you write to explain. If you need to explain, often you lose already the most. 
So we redo everything. Last summer, after six months, we redo, we rebuilt um, the menu, the home page, but based on the feedback, based on use case. So it was basically a, a better prototype. And these days, we continue to try to simplify. So all what I explained, so the way that we applied ourselves, our, our, um, our roadmap from the playbook, because we applied. Everything is, and that's the reason why it's a, it's a circle, everything is continuous, right? You need to continue to ask and to request because the members you have in the beginning are not, are not the same, but they will stay. So they have also other needs that are evolving. So keep that into account and it's a continuous journey. And that's the reason why it takes time. So basically, the, I did something wrong. No. So basically, Education for Climate is this launched 16 months ago. We have 6,500 um, members, more or less, all right? We have indeed, um, I think we met, so no, we don't met, we didn't met. Uh, one, uh, in one year, so it's 16 months, um, w w on the 6,000, um, one, a little bit less than 1,000 unique members and worlds to an event. We organize events, events, what I call events, I mean events on the platform. It can be a meeting, an onboarding session, a session on the content, a workshop, whatever. So 1,000 people came, um, um, different unique people came uh, and worked on, on these events from, from the beginning. And for us, this is just uh, the beginning. As you can see, the way that it's written now, connect with peers and discover initiatives, develop solution and in innovation lab. That's not exactly what I explained about raising awareness, training teachers and the like, right? It is redefined with the community. That text is redefined with the community. Funny enough, this is what we call our flyer. So it's one page, right? Um, maybe next year I will present something else. Uh, one year ago, we had a flyer of four pages. And then our members, they told us, you know what, we never read it. <laughs> I, yes, yes, me, I, I, I did two paragraphs. I exaggerate, exaggerate. But a lot of them, a lot of them, they say that, right? So we did, we did the exercise, we need to simplify. We, we went and we, we killed a lot of sentences. Oh, yeah, kind of redundant, uh, this and this. And then we say, no, it's not possible that we come from four pages to this. And yes, it was exactly the same. The essential was said, uh, and it's super important. Um, we just started a sub-community for the first time of Education for Climate that is focused on Green Comp framework. Green Comp framework is a framework developed by my colleagues, also from the DGGRC and the DGEAC Education in the Commission, um, published last year. It's a framework of 12 competencies based on a study that are the competencies to develop in schools, but also in your own life, because learning is the whole life, that will have believed that framework, and I believe it too, the most impact on sustainability and climate uh, challenge. We want to continue the study on education um, on a green competencies framework to understand how schools in one year implemented it, what they need to do it better, what they liked, um, uh, what are the best use cases of implementation and use of that framework within schools, what can be perfect, more perfect than uh, the Education for Climate Coalition to um, Community Coalition to, uh, to have this. Why did we? Um, created a sub-community because there is, and you saw it in the wheel in the beginning, there is a very concrete qualitative deliverable that's really about uh, identifying use cases around green comes, right? And so we want to have the most interested but also the one who are really using it coming in there. It gives better flexibility, better visibility. I mean, that's what we, we did because we are working with other, other people and we thought 
that's the best way to do it. So we developed uh, that sub-community. And then people from the Education for Climate, they say, yeah, but why did you do that? Because what we do is all about green competencies, right? So wait, is it a good choice, right? Because everyone told you in the beginning that's a good choice. So again, it's a looping journey that you need to go through. Maybe it was a bit uh, the best choice. Maybe also people will feel lost why two communities and so on and so on. Next time I will tell you what was the result of it. So that's uh, six, really. Yeah, conclusion. Community management is both social and technical. In our little team, I do all the visuals and the, the workshop, uh, the mirror boards and the, and the like, and the workshop flows. But we have uh, an education specialist and we have someone who also who is the technical one. I'm owner of, I mean, um, site manager uh, with my other colleagues. So we do everything with our little ends in our little team of four people. Um, and that's super fun because we are super fast. We have an idea on the Monday and it's already online on the, on the, on the Wednesday. And people from the community, they told us, if you talk about an ID in March and you deliver something in July, we are already gone, right? You need to go fast. So you, need to, you can't have someone in an agency to do a briefing, to have enough, a proposal, and then, and then to deliver one visual three months after. That's not the way the community is going. It's for us a con con continuous learning journey. Uh, we need to stay connecting the dots with other communities. So guys, if you have advice for us, we are super welcome to uh, catch them. Um, and what we will um, really uh, reflect and work on in the following month is what are the competencies that we really need to keep as community management team. Voila, sorry. No, yeah. no two minutes. <laughs>